Do you see how wrinkly my shirt is? This is the perfect representation of how my mental health is currently because I stayed up all night finishing the second book in the Harry Potter series and y'all, I am hooked. I am telling you, I have never read a series that has made me like excited to read the next book immediately since I was a kid. I feel like the last series that did this to me was, I believe it was the Hunger Games series and the Percy Jackson series when I was younger, but because I never read any of the Harry Potter books, this is all new for me and it is so good. When I tell you every page, every chapter had me on the edge of my seat, I'm talking edge of my seat, edge of my seat. So naturally, all I want to do is read the rest of the Harry Potter series. I'm sorry guys, I know we have a February TBR that we picked, hand selected, and I am not reading a single book on that TBR list. I cannot think of anything but these books. It is so good and I finally get the hype and I'm just so happy to be here. Like, I'm so happy to be in this world to figure out what's going on, trying to figure it out before it actually happens and I'm always wrong, but it's just such a fun ride. So I'm a little unhinged right now, <laughs> to say the least. So today we are gonna be reading Harry Potter for 24 hours and not 24 hours, eight hours here, eight hours there. No, I'm talking 24 hours straight because I need to know what's going on. I want to fly through this series because I want to read it again. It is so good and I'm just so happy to be here. So I'm just warning you now, this video is going to be nuts, but I think it's going to be a lot of fun. So let me get my book. I again will be reading it on my Kindle. I do have the physical books, but they're too pretty to read. So we're going to be reading on my Kindle. All the books are free on Kindle Unlimited, so you're welcome in advance. Let me show you my books though. But first, I would love to thank today's sponsor, which is Beekeepers Natural. If you don't know about Beekeepers Natural, they're a really cool company that basically combines like modern medicine as well as the most natural ingredients. And one of the products they're currently selling is a throat spray, which I actually have. I've been using for the past week and I absolutely love it. The main ingredient here is propolis. And if you don't know what that is, it's the main ingredient that bees use for their hive. And it's actually known to help fight bacteria and germs and its antifungal properties. But it's not just that, it also contains a wide range of antioxidants and vitamins and minerals, including vitamin B, C, and D. And you can use their products with confidence because they're third-party tested, meaning that there's no artificial colors or preservatives, and they're pesticide-free. But for me, I think the coolest thing about Beekeepers Natural is the fact that they work exclusively with sustainable and small-scale apiaries, meaning that they don't over-harvest the hive. So I highly recommend you trying out their products. They don't just have a throat spray, they also have a ton of different options on their website. So please use my link down below to check them out. Thank you again for Beekeepers Natural for sponsoring this portion of the video. If you're new here, you don't know this, but I got all of these for Christmas and look at how beautiful this copy is. Obviously I cannot touch these. And now that they actually mean something to me, nobody's touching these books, nobody. So we're gonna look at it, pretend like we're reading the physical copy and then we're gonna read it on my Kindle. It is currently 9 a.m. but I've been up since like 5:45, so <laughs> I'm already starting off strong. I've had like two cups of coffee already, but I'm excited to get started with book number three. Again, I just finished book number two and literally every turn got me. When he lost his arm bones and he was just walking around like this, nuts, crazy. The spider situation, I audibly gasped. Okay, out loud in public. These books got me acting different, y'all. I feel so good reading them and they just remind me why I love reading so much. So today we're just gonna exploit that to the very max and read for 24 hours. I believe, I am predicting, my wizard brain, because I'm in Gryffindor, is telling me that we're gonna finish book three and book four today. Ah! <laughs> Who am I? I definitely can do it. I feel like I definitely can do it. I feel like I can definitely do it. What do y'all think? Let me know in the comments down below if you think I can do it. Especially with all the energy I got right now. Easy. It is currently 9.30, almost 9.30. Can you see? Just take my word for it. It's almost 9.30 and we're starting this late. I really wanted to get started by like 6 a.m. but it's currently snowing so I had to shovel out the car and then I had to go walk my dog and then I had to eat breakfast so we had a lot to do this morning. But now I am prepared and I'm ready to get into the wizarding world of Harry Potter. So let's start the alarm. I'm gonna regret this immediately, I already know. I'm going to get my headphones. I will be listening to Harry Potter lo-fi because it just gets me in the mood and it really feels real when I do that. So 
I'll go get that and we'll start. <sighs> Okay, I'm not that far in, but I have a theory. So Sirius Black, I feel like is connected to Voldemort. I'm on page 24, so he's connected to him some way. And when Harry was going to Diagon Alley and he saw those eyes, it was the dog that is explaining like your, it's like a symbol of your death or something like that. So I think the dog is owned by Sirius Black. Am I right? I don't know, we'll see. So far it is so good though. I love seeing all the kids together again and like this world is so well thought of and so unbelievably creative and I find myself laughing out loud multiple times. Like Ron is hilarious to me. I really thought Hermione would be my favorite character but I find myself gravitating towards Ron so I love that. Um, he always makes fun of Hermione but like in a very fun way. And right now I'm at the part where they're getting all of their supplies at Diagon Alley before the school year starts and Harry really wants this new um, broomstick for the Quidditch match. Um, I forgot what it's called. I think it's called the Firebolt or something. And I just love how the story develops. I'm already like so excited to get into this world and the music helps a lot too. So let's just get back to it. <laughs> Okay, I have another theory. So I'm at the part where they're headed to Hogwarts now and Harry just told him all the stuff that he heard from Mr. Weasley, which is Ron's dad, about Sirius Black. And then they got into like one of the compartments where one of the new teachers is sleeping there. And the little toy that Ron gave him for his birthday, it's like a sneak meter so it tells you when people who aren't trustworthy are around. And Harry just told them everything that's happening and then the thing started going off. So, okay, this is my theory. The teacher works for Sirius Black, Sirius Black. And he's going to be his eyes and ears at Hogwarts. And he's going to somehow sneak Sirius Black into the school to Harry, which I'll think. I got to be right. At this point, we're like an hour and a half in. And it's getting really, really good. But I've noticed that I'm reading slow because I want to pick up everything. And it's just like such a good story. And honestly, because I'm having such a good time, I'm not going to force myself to try to read faster because I genuinely want to enjoy the story. And when's the next time I'll ever be able to read Harry Potter for the first time? Never. So I'm going to continue to enjoy myself. And if we don't finish all the books I want to finish, then so be it. But I am having a good time. We're about three and a half hours in and it's getting really, really good, but I'm starting to get really hungry. So I have lunch, I have a tuna sandwich and my favorite chips in the world. They're the spicy pickle chips. They're the Miss Vicky's. So freaking good. Almost as good as the book. I'm currently at the part where they're about to go to Hogsmeade or is that how you say it? Like the wizarding town near the school, but Harry obviously can't go. And he's gonna ask uh, the professor if he's able to get like a permission slip signed so that he can go. And it's getting so good. I've noticed that with these books, you have to pay attention to every little detail because when you're going through it, it doesn't seem like it's important. But then at the end of the book, you realize that everything had a meaning. So now I'm paying attention to every little detail that they add. But it's also getting hard to like keep up with because I'm trying to see what's worth remembering and what's not. So I don't know. I don't know if I'm close or not, but I do have a feeling that the new professor uh, of the dark arts, he's going to be a pivotal part in this. And I think he's going to be a bad guy. And I also believe that he's going to be tied with Sirius Black in some way. So I feel like it's going to be really interesting to see if I'm right or not, but I have a feeling that I am. I don't know. After reading the first two books back to back too, I feel like I'm kind of getting an understanding of how she structures these stories 
Obviously I can be completely wrong, but it is really fun to play with the different theories just to see if maybe I'm right. I also can't believe how many hours have went by already and I'm not even like a hundred pages through. I'm just enjoying it a little too much. I gotta like hurry up a little bit. <laughs> So I'm 53% of the way through the first book and we're six hours and 40 minutes in. I don't know why it's taking me so long to read. Honestly, I think I do know why. I feel like I've been nodding off, like falling asleep. So I think we should leave the house and go read somewhere in public so that I don't have the opportunity to sleep. I think starting this off with less than eight hours of sleep wasn't my best idea, but we're already in the thick of it. I'm not changing back now. I'm not turning back now. Plus the book is getting really good. I just found out that Sirius Black was Harry Potter's dad's best friend. Imagine your best friend betraying you like that and then you, because of it, and your family too? That's just insane. I feel like every single turn, there's something new happening and I never guess them. And I'm genuinely like shocked. It's so crazy. But now I'm at the part where he's learning his Patronus. It's like a positive protector for him. And he's still like passing out from the Dementors. So it's getting really good to say the least. So I feel like now because I'm getting to a really good part of the story and we're about to leave the house, I feel like I won't fall asleep anymore <laughs> and we'll be able to follow through with the rest of the book. I'm hoping to finish the book in the next maybe three hours. Right now it is 421. And if I'm already falling asleep now, we already know the nighttime is gonna be really hard. So I'm just gonna keep trying my best. I can't promise anything. I don't know how many books we're gonna finish, but I will continue to try my best. understand the world that I am currently in where my mind currently is at we are 11 hours and 48 minutes in it took me a gosh darn mother freaking long time to read that book but let me tell you the flabbers are gassed I am shook there's no way I could have ever imagined conjured up all the twists and turns that book just put me through like literally, I could not believe the ending. I was just sitting out there in that cafe, just like, what did I just read? I thought that the second book was my favorite, but after the third book, does it just continue to get better like that? Like I genuinely, genuinely have never went into a book hating a character. And then by the end of the book, absolutely loving that character or feeling bad for a pet. And then by the end of the book, absolutely hating a pet. What the heck? I literally, I literally could not have seen any of the twists and turns that woman just put me through for that book. I could not believe it in Dumbledore. He's the parrot, the grandparent I've always wanted. He is so fire. And Hagrid, my man. Now Harry has a godfather? It's too much to handle. It's too much to handle. I'm an adult. 
and I'm barely keeping it together after that. I can't imagine 11 year old me finishing that book and still having my sanity. My imagination would have went rampant, rampant, absolutely nuts. I would not have been able to think of anything else. I would not have cared about my schooling. I probably wouldn't have eaten. I just would have kept reading and reading and reading because now I need to know. I need to know all the facts. I need to know where his grandfather is, where that freaking rat is. Cause it's on site. Can you, um... he stayed with Ron's family for 12 years and the way he was so cowardly. Y'all, so many feels, so many feelings. I, I cannot believe I just read that. This series is so freaking good. And I am genuinely surprised. I honestly thought I was too old for this series. And I didn't think it was going to hold the same weight as everyone says it did, like when they were younger. But it's doing so different to me. I don't know. I am so excited to continue reading. It's going to be a tough night, though, because I'm already feeling tired. And we're only 11 hours and 50 minutes in. It's because I kept stopping as I drove to places and stuff like that. But honestly, y'all, I'm not going to lie to you. I'm not stopping this timer no more. We are going to read what we can read. And if I'm continuing to talk to you, the timer is going to be on because I need to go to sleep. <laughs> I'm already feeling tired, so I know tonight's going to be rough. But man, this series is unbelievable unbelievable and now after reading all of these books i just want to have a harry potter marathon <sighs> and watch all the movies this is my life this is what i've been missing y'all i'm having such a good time such a good time such a good time it's like what i i don't know what to do with myself i don't know what to do with myself i'm just holding in by a thread like so much happened in that one book i cannot believe that was just one book and there's four more. What else? JK, what else could possibly go on? I don't think my little heart can take it. I literally have not figured out a single one of these things. The people I think are bad people turn out to be good people. And the people I think are good people turn out to be bad people. What is happening? It's just, it's too much. It's too much. But I'm ready to go back for more. So I already downloaded the fourth book which is Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire. So this is probably gonna be the last book we read today, but honestly, I'm okay, because that means I still have five, six, and seven to read after this. But I think five is like the largest book. Oh, I don't know how long it's gonna take me, but I just wanna keep reading this. I don't wanna read anything else. I don't care about any TBR. I don't care about anything. I just wanna read Harry Potter. What is happening to me? I'm becoming a Potterhead. And I like it. It's so crazy. I'm just happy to be here. Like, I cannot believe the world I was just in. And if it's having this effect on me now, as an adult who's been beaten and battered by the world, I don't have the same imagination as I did when I was younger, and it's still affecting me like this? Y'all, I am telling you, I would have been a Potter stan. I would have had all the merch. I would have been watching all the movies. Y'all would have been so sick of me. Y'all would have been so sick of me if I read this when I was younger and my imagination was at that level because this is already doing so much to me. I was literally laughing out loud, gasping, shaking my head, getting angry all in public. Like a crazy person, like a crazy person. Like I couldn't even like pretend and be an adult and be like, hmm, while I'm reading, I couldn't even do it. I was just like, <gasps> no no y'all got three hours oh my god the rat i knew it was the rat i was doing all of that in public like they definitely thought something was wrong with me but this is what the series is doing to me guys guys i cannot believe i waited my whole life to read this and i'm having such a good time i'm genuinely so happy this was never ruined for me because i honestly go in completely blind every book every turn i genuinely am shook i don't expect any of it and it feels like what would happen when I was younger and I would read books like this that affected me like this. And I haven't had that feeling in so long, so it just feels so good and kind of nostalgic, even though I've never read the series. I'm just, I'm just so happy. I'm just happy to be here, all right? But enough talking from me. I've wasted enough time. We're going to start on the fourth book.
I have good news and bad news. Good news is the fourth book is getting really good. The bad news is I wouldn't know because I fell asleep. <laughs> I feel like I definitely could do it. I feel like I can definitely do it. I don't know what happened. I don't know what happened. I was reading. Listen, listen, listen. I was reading. I was in the story. I was in Hogwarts. And the next thing I know, I'm waking up and it's 7 o'clock in the morning. <gasps> so, we obviously miserably failed this challenge. I think this is the worst I've ever done. I've never slept for that long. I genuinely, it didn't even feel like it. It felt like a second. But I slept like six hours. <laughs> so, obviously we're not going to finish any more books. I'm going to try to get as far as I possibly can in this. We have about 30 minutes left in our... Um, little situation here. I tried to read a little bit before I talked to y'all so that I could make up for it. So now it's like 10 30. Um, but we're not finishing any more books. We finished one book. But to be fair, this fourth book is 700 plus pages. So where are we going to finish anyway? I don't know. Probably. <laughs> Probably. But then again, like I don't want to rush this series because I'm genuinely enjoying it so much. It's gotten so good. Like, I cannot believe how good it is just the amount of details and it's really interesting because it's like there's no romance in it so far I don't know if maybe in the future there will be but there's no romance in it it's just like constantly trying to solve these mysteries and like getting to know Harry and all of his friends and obviously their families and stuff like that and just the complex story like I can't believe how convoluted this story is it just keeps getting more and more muddled and I'm like how and I'm only in the fourth book and in the beginning of the fourth book, no less, so there's like three more books and the books just keep getting thicker. So I'm like, where else are we going to go? I can't imagine it getting any more complicated. But obviously I know that it will. And this is just so fantastic because, y'all, I haven't even watched any more of the movies. So now I can finish this book. Later on, like maybe this week I'll do it for myself. I'll watch the second movie, the third movie, and the fourth movie once I finish this book. And then I still have three books to read. I'm just so delighted like this series is unbelievably good and I just genuinely did not expect this much from it I thought it was gonna be good and I was gonna enjoy it but so far all the books have been a five-star read for me and I don't even like fantasy like I'm not a fantasy girly whatsoever I don't dislike fantasy but that's not my meat and potatoes you know what I mean like that's not what I gener generally read but all of a sudden now I'm in love with Hogwarts who am I? I don't know. I'm just having such a good time. So I'm really glad that I was able to read with you guys. Obviously not a lot, but so far I'm really enjoying it. And I don't want to rush it anyway. So I'm going to read what I can until our timer's up. And then throughout the rest of the week, I'll just continue reading it. So yeah, the February TBR is definitely officially out of the window. I'm, I'm not going to read it. I won't have time, but hopefully <laughs> in March I can get back to reading like other books. It's just, I definitely know that now I want to read at least one book a month until I finish the Harry Potter series, just because it's so good. And I honestly want to take my time and like really delve into the story and the music, adding the music has just made it so much more realistic for me like I can just imagine myself as a kid I know I said this last time but like I would have had so much fun with this and now I get why big adults like grown-ups are still obsessed with this because it had to have had such a huge impact on them and their lives as a child and man I want to read all of this series this year and maybe like revisit it again it depends on how I feel by the end of the series because I heard like things get even crazier and I'm afraid like they'll ruin it because I think with series this is the reason why I stay away from series is because there's always an opportunity for people to go too far like if you have one really good book we should just leave it at that that's generally how I feel but so far each book has been really good still but I'm always waiting for the other shoe to fall and for them to ruin the next book and by then it's like you're already so committed to these characters you already love the storyline you already love the world and it's just so disappointing when like an author keeps going when they know they should have stopped a long time ago and it just ruins the the world for you so that's what I'm always afraid of when I read series but I've heard that this entire series is good it's just it's gonna be pretty tumultuous pretty soon so I'm preparing myself for that but so far it's been an awesome ride it's been nuts and Honestly, I have not ever 
figured out a single one of the plot twists, but I'm having such a good time. So we're going to finish this strong. I did lose so much time. I'm sorry. I love you. Still like and subscribe. <laughs> I guess I was tired and I'm not going to like beat myself up about it because this is already a nuts challenge anyway to begin with. And plus I am really enjoying the book, so I don't want to rush it anyway. So we're just going to keep going and see where it takes us. <sighs> just made it to 24 hours. I am so tired. I know I got sleep I wasn't supposed to get, but I'm genuinely so tired. Towards the end, I feel like I was just reading the same page over and over again. <laughs> but I had a really good time. I'm at the part now where they're talking about um, the forbidden curses, the three forbidden curses. He just learned it from that weird teacher, Mad Eye Moody or something. Um, and they're all like a little shaken up about it because it was a really intense class. And then they're all preparing for the wizard trials with like the different schools. So it's just getting so good. I, I absolutely love the series. I cannot believe I waited my entire life to read this. But I'm excited to continue following the world and like watching the movies, comparing them to the books and just enjoying a little piece of my childhood that I could have had, you know? So I'm just really, really happy, but also tired. So I will be going to sleep. It's such an odd time to go to sleep, but I'm very tired. So I enjoyed this very, very much. If you enjoyed this, please like and subscribe. Tell me what your favorite Harry Potter book is down below if you read them. If not, your favorite Harry Potter movie or if you like Harry Potter at all. I would love to hear everyone's opinions. I'm like really falling into this rabbit hole now, so I just want to talk about it all day. So if you also want to talk about it all day, put it down in the comments below and I'll see you in the next video. Love you, bye!